At this time of Advent, we pray for God's family, the church, that we might open our minds and hearts to the love of God and this Christmas. We pray this Christmas that, like Mary, people will be open-hearted and give to the many charities at home and abroad which help the poor so that, other, so that others can have a happy Christmas. Mary followed the God's will in making a difficult decision. We pray that God will help us when we are faced with difficult choices in our lives. The shepherds experienced the joy of Christmas. We pray that through the that through Jesus, all families may experience the joy of Christmas this year. The three kings traveled thousands of miles. We pray for all who are away from their homes this Christmas. We pray for the refugees and people who have been forced to flee their own country. May they enjoy the peace of Christmas wherever they are. Christmas can be a difficult time for those who have lost a loved one. We pray for the bereaved and, the, and for the souls of those that we know and love who have died, that their memory and spirit live long in our hearts. Amen. At Christmas we celebrate the birth of Jesus, the light of the world. Jesus was born into dark times, into times of unrest, and upheaval. He chose to reveal his message in a backward and unfashionable place, yet within a relatively short period of time this message spread throughout the known world. It was to bring the gift of hope to millions of people who up to that point had suffered in the darkness, fear and superstition of paganism. Those who have followed his teaching and example ever since have challenged the injustice violence and suffering that is so often prominent in human society. We know however that the powers of evil and darkness are still rampant in our world. War and terrorism affect the lives of millions. Children and young people are still being exploited for financial gain. When we look at the state of our world it can be hard at times to believe that Jesus Christ has conquered sin and darkness but he has and despite all he still gives us hope. The birth of this hope is what we celebrate at Christmas and this season always brings a glimpse of something better into our lives. Even though there may be many reasons for sadness, anxiety and despair, Christmas cuts through the darkness and points to what we can be and will be in the future. As we prepare for Christmas, we think of those in need and ask God to bring comfort, hope and love into the lives of others so they too can share in happiness and joy of the Christmas story. God sent the angel Gabriel to a town in Galilee called Nazareth. He had a message for a girl engaged to a man named Joseph who was from the family of King David. The girl's name was Mary. The angel said to her, Peace be with you. The Lord is with you and has greatly blessed you. Mary was deeply troubled by the angel's message and she wondered what his words meant. The angel said to her, Don't be afraid, Mary. God has been kind to you. You will become pregnant and give birth to a son and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the light of the world and his kingdom will never end. Mary said to the angel, May it happen to me as you have said, for I am the Lord's servant. Mary was young, but despite her age, she was chosen for a special task. During Advent, we should remember that whilst we too are young, we also have the responsibilities of being entrusted to do great things, to look out for our younger brothers and sisters, to help the adults who care for us, and to be role models for our friends and schoolmates. At times we may need help to live up to these expectations, but we should remember that as with Mary, God promised to always be there during the times of trouble. Mary arose and went with haste into the hill 
country to a city of Judah. And she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. And when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary, the um, babe leaped into her womb. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit, and she exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. For behold, when the voice of your greeting came to my ears, the babe in my womb leaped for joy. And blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her from the Lord. After learning that she would soon have a child, Mary decided to leave her village and stay with her cousin Elizabeth for a while. Elizabeth was also expecting a baby and was delighted to see Mary whenever she arrived. Elizabeth gave comfort and care to Mary during this time until Mary returned to Joseph in order to go on a longer journey to Bethlehem. Mary felt nervous but knew that there were people who would look out for her. During Advent, we too should take time to look out for those who are in need of help. In our communities, there are people who may help and friendship to get there. Through tough times, we could think of the elderly and sick of, or those without families and make an effort to bring the warmth of Christmas into their lives. In those days, Caesar August issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world, and, and everyone went to his own town to register. So Joseph set out from the town of Nazareth in Galilee and travelled up to Judea to a town of David called Bethlehem in order to be registered together with Mary his wife who would soon give birth to a child. While they were there, the time came for her to have her baby. She gave birth to her first son, wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger. For there, for there was no room for them to stay in an inn. Shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch off their f over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, I, I bring you good news. Today in the town of David, a Saviour has been born. He is Christ the Lord. Suddenly a great host appeared with the angel, praising God. When the angels had left them, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see what the Lord has told us. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. After they had see seen him, they spread the word about the child and all who heard it, it were amazed. After Jesus was born, during the time of King Herod, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born, King of the Jews? We saw this his star in the east and have come to worship him.
when King Herod heard this, he was disturbed. He called together all the advisors and asked them where the Christ was to be born. In Bethlehem, in Judea, they replied. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and make a careful search for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me, so that I can, I too may go and worship him. Then they went on their way, and the star they had seen in the east went ahead of them, until it stopped over the place where the child was. There they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. traveled far to give praise and respect to the baby Jesus. They knew he was a special child and because of this they brought special gifts to reflect his greatness. During Advent we should take time to remember that gifts need not always be wrapped up in shiny wrapping paper and cost large amounts of money. We all have some special gifts that can be used to bring comfort and happiness to others. Our gifts, our gifts of music, com communication, art, thoughtfulness, understanding and compassion can be of great value to others through the comfort and satisfaction they bring. Ahirna, Gimish or Husud on her skull August or go fubble a tanish or slain a fearing. For Lag is doing the gem or his fedrolin or solace a scapu unto level my solace aku in the seal. This Christmas we pray for all those people who are sick. Or finding life difficult at the moment. We remember in a special way those associated with St Joseph's. May your healing touch upon them and may the Holy Spirit guide the hearts and the hands of those who, who care for them. This Christmas we pray that we may always find time for Christ in our lives and we so we may be ready to welcome him with true Christian joy. This Christmas we pray for people who help others in their life of faith, faith, particularly our parents and teachers. As we receive cards and letters from loved ones, there are many who have no one to love them. As we sit down to a Christmas dinner, a table of abundance, there are those who long for just a small portion of food and find none. As we feel love and goodness from those around us, there are people terrorized by death squads and tortured in prisons. As we open many gifts, which, most of which are not needed, there are those who have no gifts or to give or receive. As we move freely from home to home, choosing whom we see and visit, they are visually impaired, physically challenged, very ill people who cannot move easily. As we are welcomed by friends, family, and acquaintances, there are persons who are mocked, ridiculed, disdained, or ignored because of their race and religion. As we return to the security of our homes, there are countless homeless who have no dwelling place to which they can return. 